Hello, welcome to the Daily Office. Thanks for joining me. Today is Thursday, January 18th, and today we celebrate the Confession of St. Peter. Here is the commentary from the book Holy Women, Holy Men, Celebrating the Saints. When Simon, the son of Jonah, confessed, You are the Christ, Jesus responded, You are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church. This rough fisherman and his brother Andrew were the first disciples called by Jesus. Peter figures prominently in the Gospels, often stumbling, impetuous, intense, and uncouth. It was Peter who attempted to walk on the sea and began to sink. It was Peter who impulsively wished to build three tabernacles on the mountain of the Transfiguration. It was Peter who, just before the crucifixion, three times denied knowing the Lord. But it was also Peter who, after Pentecost, risked his life to do the Lord's work, speaking boldly of his belief in Jesus. It was also Peter the Rock who, strength and courage, helped the young church in its questioning about the mission beyond the Jewish community. Opposed at first to the baptism of Gentiles, he had the humility to admit a change of heart and to baptize the Roman centurion Cornelius and his household. Even after this, Peter had a continuing struggle with his Jewish conservatism. For Paul, writing to the Galatians, rebukes him for giving way to the demands of the Jewish Christians to disassociate himself from table fellowship with Gentiles. Though the New Testament makes no mention of it, the tradition connecting Peter with Rome is early and virtually certain. According to a legend based on that tradition, Peter fled from Rome during the persecution under Nero. On the Appian Way, he met Christ and asked him, Domine quo vadis, Lord, where are you going? And the Lord answered, I'm coming to be crucified again. Peter thereupon retract, retraced his steps and was shortly thereafter crucified, head down. I'm not worthy to be crucified as my Lord was, he is supposed to have said. As we watch Peter struggle with himself, often stumble, love his Lord and deny him, speak rashly and act impetuously, his life reminds us that our Lord did not come to save the godly and strong, but to save the weak and the sinful. Simon, an ordinary human being, was transformed by the Holy Spirit into the rock, and he became the leader of the church. Let us pray. Almighty God, who inspired Simon Peter, first among the apostles, to confess Jesus as Messiah, and Son of the living God, keep your church steadfast upon the rock of this faith, so that in unity and peace we may proclaim the one truth and follow the one Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.